Diana, you got to save the wallabies. <laughs> what do you got? That's right, Phil. Well, it's not often you find a wallaby here on Long Island, or for that matter, even in America, outside of a zoo. But why don't you come with me inside Mineola Animal Hospital? How to get to the wallaby. <laughs> I found a wallaby tucked away inside this animal hospital alongside these sleeping cats and barking dogs. It was scared, but for good reason. Earlier this week, Dr. David Collins rescued this little guy from a man's garage in East Rockaway, New York. He was in a garage in a small dog run that had like a plywood floor in an unheated garage. No food, no water. Um, thin, uh, starving. The wallaby was found dehydrated with liver damage and severely underweight. You know, he's marginally larger than a than a cat in body weight. You know, he's a, he was 17 pounds when we brought him in. He should be closer to 40. Dr. Collins is now nursing this wallaby back to health. What you're seeing here, this brightness that you're seeing in the liver, that's the hepatic lipidosis. That's the okay. liver changes from starvation. But there are still few answers as to how a wallaby ended up in a man's garage on Long Island. After all, uh, wallabies are native to Australia. The homeowner, Larry Wallach, was reportedly not home at the time of this rescue, but he has a history of owning exotic animals. Didn't he, did he once have a lion? That's tiger, apparently. And I don't know that anybody knows where that tiger is at the moment. <laughs> Wallach is expected to be charged with animal cruelty in the coming days. But on the brighter side, Long Island's favorite wallaby does have a pretty good future on the horizon. Every sanctuary has called. So we have a very long list um, of people <laughs> who have volunteered to take it. Yeah, so it's... Then it'll be a follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> so I took my kids trick-or-treating this past Halloween and they go to one house and a, a wallaby comes to the door. Stop it. And my kids are like, Daddy, there's a kangaroo in this house. And it turns out that this was a family in my town that had a rescue wallaby. So I guess people They're keep these. Rescue wallaby? They had a wallaby that was in dire straits like this and they took it in and they have it walking around their house now as a pet. I think the thing that sticks out to me the most is that they don't know where this tiger is. Diana, do you know where this tiger is? No, I mean, he also has uh, addresses in Florida that comes up. But I also want to mention that here in New York, it's actually illegal to have a wallaby as a pet. It is? Why? Yeah, so, uh, They're from Australia. But I think yeah. Long Island is the perfect place. You have to be rich and have land. Long Island seems to be the perfect every, place for Everybody in Long Island is rich. I guess I'll get one then. But I might be breaking the law.